Did you know that liver disease accounts for approximately 2 million deaths per year worldwide? And you would be surprised to know that your daily habits could be silently damaging this vital organ. Stick around as we reveal the 10 bad daily habits that destroy your liver and how you can turn things around. Number 1. Misusing medications It's easy to pop an extra pill for that nagging headache, but did you know this could be overwhelming your liver? When we don't use medications as intended, it's like throwing a curveball at our liver. Overdoing it, taking meds for longer than recommended, or mixing them without professional guidance can overwhelm our liver's superhero powers. Take the classic example of acetaminophen, your trusty pain reliever. It's all good when used correctly, but taking too much, especially with a side of alcohol or if you've got some liver issues, can lead to trouble. Similarly, your go-to ibuprofen a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug can cause liver damage if you go overboard. Even antibiotics like amoxicillin clavulinate and statins, the cholesterol-lowering champs, can sometimes surprise us with unexpected liver issues. Antifungal meds and anticonvulsants join the party too, reminding us that our liver needs some love and attention. And don't even get us started on herbal supplements. Just because something comes from nature doesn't mean it's always safe. Substances like kava and comfrey have been known to pack a punch to the liver. So what's the takeaway here? First, always follow those dosage instructions. Second, chat with your healthcare provider before starting anything new. And third, if you're on long-term treatments, stay vigilant and keep an eye out for any signs of liver distress. Number two, processed food overload. Who doesn't love fast food? We all love the convenience and taste of processed snacks and meals, but these seemingly innocent choices can wreak havoc on our liver functions if we're not careful. You see, processed foods often come packed with unhealthy fats, added sugars, and artificial additives that our liver has to process. Over time, this overload can harm our liver in several ways. First, it can lead to a condition called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, where fat accumulates in liver cells, impairing their function and potentially causing inflammation and scarring. And processed foods can spike blood sugar levels, leading to insulin resistance, a condition linked to liver problems. Moreover, the chronic inflammation triggered by processed foods can further burden the liver, hindering its detoxification abilities. There are ways to steer clear of processed food overload and keep your liver in tip-top shape. Start by reading food labels, choosing whole, unprocessed foods, and cooking at home whenever possible. Limit fast food and takeout, drink plenty of water, and aim for a balanced diet. While the occasional processed treat is okay, practice moderation to keep your liver happy and healthy. Number three, not drinking enough water. Water is life, especially for your liver. So what happens when we don't drink enough water? It can decrease your liver's ability to filter out toxins, leaving it struggling to perform its detox magic. Aim for 1.5 to 2 liters daily to keep your liver happy and hydrated. Imagine a scenario where you're going about your day, caught up in the hustle and bustle, and you forget to drink water. As the hours tick by, you start feeling tired, cranky, and maybe even a tad dizzy. These are early signs of dehydration, and here's the kicker. Dehydration can hamper your liver's ability to detoxify effectively. It's like a traffic jam on the highway to detox, and toxins start piling up in your body. Not ideal, right? Now, let's flip this case. Picture this. You're sipping on water throughout the day like a hydration pro. You feel like a burst of energy, your skin looks radiant, and you're giving your liver the VIP treatment it deserves. Your liver can work its magic efficiently, flushing out toxins and keeping you feeling your best. To stay ahead of this hydration game, here are some friendly tips. Make sipping water a habit and keep a trusty water bottle by your side. Listen to your body. If you feel thirsty, that's your cue to hydrate. Choose water-rich foods to up your hydration game. Be mindful of dehydrating beverages and balance them with extra water. 
Keep the water flowing during exercise or in hot weather. Number four, smoking. While we often associate smoking with lung problems, it can also sneakily wreak havoc on our liver. When you light up a cigarette, you inhale a cocktail of harmful chemicals. These toxins enter your bloodstream and are eventually processed by your liver. Over time, this constant exposure can overwhelm your liver's detoxification abilities, leading to inflammation and potential damage. And smoking can reduce blood flow to various organs, including the liver. Your liver relies on a healthy blood supply to perform its myriad of functions, from filtering toxins to producing essential proteins. When blood flow is compromised, it's like putting a speed bump on your liver's highway, slowing down its work. Research shows that smoking is linked to an increased risk of liver disease and liver cancer. These conditions can range from mild to severe and can have serious long-term consequences for your liver health. If you're a dedicated smoker who enjoys your cigarettes daily over time, you will start feeling fatigued, noticing yellowing of your skin or eyes or experiencing unexplained weight loss, all potential signs of liver trouble. Quitting smoking can be challenging, but it's one of the most rewarding choices you can make for your liver's health and your overall well-being. Number five, exposure to toxins. Our modern world is indeed brimming with toxins, lurking everywhere from the air we breathe to the products we use daily. This constant exposure can become a serious challenge for our liver, the ultimate detoxifier. Here's the deal. Your liver is like the body's filtration plant, working tirelessly to remove toxins and waste from our bloodstream. But when we're constantly bombarded with harmful chemicals, it's like giving the liver an overwhelming workload. Over time, this can lead to wear and tear on the liver's detoxification abilities. So. What can you do to protect your liver from this toxin onslaught? Be mindful of the chemicals you encounter in your environment, whether it's industrial chemicals, cleaning agents, or even pollutants in the air, it pays to stay informed. Always use protective gear when necessary, like masks and gloves, and take precautions to minimize your exposure. Number six, couch potato lifestyle. This one might be a shocker for you, Let's tackle a modern day dilemma that can have sneaky repercussions on our liver health, the infamous couch potato lifestyle. While we often associate it with a sedentary routine and potential weight gain, did you know it can also harm your liver? Spending long hours in front of the TV or computer, rarely getting up and getting minimal exercise is how many of us spend our days. This lifestyle can lead to the accumulation of excess body fat especially around the abdomen. And here's the twist. This visceral fat can infiltrate your liver and ultimately causes NAFLD. You can make a big difference by doing even modest amounts of physical activity in your daily routine. Whether it's a brisk walk, a quick workout, or even some fun dancing, moving your body can help reduce that dangerous belly fat and support your liver's health. Number seven, stress overload. Stress isn't just a mental issue, it's a physical one. We all experience it from time to time and it can have a profound impact on your liver. When we're stressed, our bodies release hormones like cortisol, which can affect various organs, including the liver. Excess cortisol can lead to reduced blood flow to the liver, potentially impairing its function. Moreover, chronic stress can trigger inflammation throughout the body and your liver isn't immune to this inflammatory response. This inflammation can lead to oxidative stress, where harmful molecules called free radicals damage liver cells. Over time, this can contribute to liver damage and increase the risk of liver diseases and liver fibrosis. So what's the good news? Finding ways to relax and de-stress is not only beneficial for your mental well-being, but also works wonders for your liver's health. Meditation is a fantastic option. It's a simple practice that can help reduce stress, lower cortisol levels, and promote overall liver health. Number eight, too much alcohol. This one is quite obvious. Alcohol is one of the liver's worst enemies. As you consume alcohol, your liver diligently processes it, but when you indulge excessively, 
it can lead to a condition known as alcoholic liver disease. This can progress through stages, starting with fatty liver and advancing to more severe conditions like alcoholic hepatitis and eventually cirrhosis, where the liver becomes scarred and loses its function. But the good thing is that your liver has an incredible ability to heal itself if you put a halt to alcohol consumption. So, how can you reverse the damage and nurse your liver back to health? First and foremost, quitting alcohol entirely is paramount. This gives your liver the best chance to recover and regain its vitality. But much more important is adopting a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains that supports your liver's healing process. Avoiding foods high in fat and sugar is crucial as they can exacerbate liver damage. In some cases, your doctor may recommend medications or supplements to assist in the healing process. It's essential to follow their guidance properly and attend regular checkups to monitor your liver function and receive tailored advice. Number 9. Skipping checkups. Skipping regular checkups, as tempting as it may be, can have sneaky consequences for your liver health, and we're here to shed light on this often overlooked aspect. Think of these checkups as your liver's health report card. They help catch any potential issues early on, allowing you to take action before they become serious. Let's illustrate this with a real-life example. Imagine you've been feeling perfectly fine, no symptoms, no complaints, and you decide to skip your routine checkup. You might think you're in the clear, but your liver could be silently struggling with NAFLD. Without those checkups, you wouldn't even know it's happening. You might find it unnecessary, but when your doctor performs some routine tests and detects early signs of NAFLD, you have a better chance of saving your liver health. Regular checkups help you catch issues early, allowing you to take control of your liver health and live your best life. Don't let those checkups slip through the cracks. They're your liver's way of saying, I'm here for you. Number 10, unsafe practices. Last but not least, unsafe sex and ignoring vaccinations can expose you to viruses that attack the liver. This includes risky sexual behaviors and neglecting vaccinations, both of which can expose you to viruses that specifically target the liver. Engaging in unprotected sexual activities can put you at risk for sexually transmitted infections such as hepatitis B and hepatitis C. These viruses can be transmitted through sexual contact and can lead to severe liver damage over time if left untreated. Unsafe sexual practices involve not using condoms or engaging in risky sexual behaviors. In this situation, you're potentially exposing yourself to these liver-harming viruses without realizing it. But here's the good news. You can take steps to protect yourself and your partners. Practicing safe sex by using condoms and being aware of your sexual partner's health status is very important nowadays. Regular testing for STIs can also help detect any infections early, allowing for prompt treatment. Certain vaccines, such as the hepatitis B vaccine, can safeguard you against liver-targeting viruses. Skipping these vaccinations can leave you vulnerable to infections that could have been prevented. Think of it this way. Getting vaccinated is like putting on a shield that protects your liver from potential harm. You're actively taking steps to ensure your liver's well-being by staying up to date with your vaccinations. It's never too late to start taking better care of this essential organ. Your liver is a forgiving friend. Treat it right, and it will bounce back stronger than ever. We hope this video inspires you to make liver-friendly choices every day. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health wisdom. Thanks for watching.